We're talking about crestal level placement of an implant versus subcrestal. All right, let's just take a peek. We're gonna spin around. Um, crestal level versus sub. Looking down on this model here, we can see that our first implant is placed crestal level. We can see those lines that we just reviewed with Dr. Alex Molinari. But keep in mind, when we're talking about sub level crestal pl placement, we gotta make sure that we're talking to our doctors about drilling a little bit deeper. So you see that goes to 13, but we're only placing an 11 and a half length implant, right? Very important. The other thing is think about restoratively. So restoratively, we're just looking down on the tissue. We see the healing abutment just at the top, but it's really important to use this guy. We got to use that tissue measurement gauge and get some type of an x-ray back off to our laboratories, right? Restoratively speaking, because the labs can't see this. Right? They have to get some kind of x-ray to know where that implant is in relation to the bone placed subcrestally. If I uh, back up one slide here, it's important to share that information so we see where the implant is in relation to bone. And then, of course, they want to know where the tissue is and picking the proper height. When we get back to looking at a restoration, so in this instance, we have a temporary. It's placed through the tissue. Notice that everything here looks exactly the same from the top down. Look at this line straight across. Everything looks the same. But if we get back in and we look underneath, we can see that our implant is placed subcrestally. All right. I hope that helps. Keep that stuff in mind. Thanks, guys.